Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a logo reveal like this one. So to get started I'm gonna create a new composition, I'm gonna call it main and the duration is gonna be 5 seconds. Then I'm gonna drag my logo which I've already imported into After Effects and the first thing that I'm gonna do is pre-compose it. I'm gonna call the composition logo and then once you've done that we're gonna need um, two pre-comps. So I'm gonna click on this one right here and I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it and then with the second one you're gonna need to pre-compose it one more time and I'm gonna call this logo outline. So the logo outline is gonna go all the way up to two seconds. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna press Alt and right bracket to trim it right there. Or you can just trim it using your mouse like that. And then I'm gonna select the second one which is gonna start at two seconds and I'm gonna press Alt and left bracket to trim it right there. Right now I'm gonna open the logo outline precomp and I'm gonna search for an effect which is called Vegas and I'm gonna apply it to this logo composition right here. So the first thing that I'm gonna change is in the image contours option. I'm gonna set the channel to alpha and right here in blend mode I'm gonna set it to transparent and I'm gonna set the color to white. Then I'll also adjust to the width to 1.5 like that and I'm gonna set the number of segments to 1. So as you can see that has created an outline of our logo. You can use any logo that you like or maybe even text layers. So the next step is gonna be animating the length and also animating the rotation. So I'm gonna undo those two changes by pressing Ctrl Z and I'm gonna move the playhead all the way up to the beginning. So I'm gonna set a keyframe for the length and for the rotation. I want the length to be at zero and then I'm gonna press U and that's gonna show me the two keyframes that I've created. Then I'm gonna move the playhead to two seconds. I'm gonna change the value of the length to 1 and right now you want to change your rotation you want to make it move but I don't want it to be random I don't want it to stop right here for example I want it to stop right here at this corner so this is up to you just don't make the animation too quick make sure to preview it and then make sure that it looks smooth to make it look a bit smoother, you can select all these keyframes and then hit F9 to easy ease them. And as you can see, the animation looks a bit differently right now. So once you're satisfied with the way that this stroke is animating, you can move back into your main composition. So this is what we've done so far. Now the next step is going to be adding the background. So if you don't want to use a background image, you can just create a new black solid, which is going to be used as the background, and then search for an effect which is called gradient ramp. Then apply that to your solid, change the ramp shade to radial ramp, set the end color to black, and set the start color to something gray, but not too bright. And then you could adjust the start point and the end point to create a nice gradient. You can set the start to the center by clicking right here. And then just increase the ramp scatter a little bit and you have yourself a pretty decent background for this effect. Another thing that you could do is use a black solid, set its opacity to 95% and then import your background image and make sure that you scale it down if it's bigger than your composition and as you can see we have a really nice background too. So it's up to you to create the background that you like. The final step right now is going to be creating a new adjustment layer for the light effect. So let's search for light right here and we want to use the effect which is called light burst in the generate 
folder. So I'm going to apply that to the adjustment layer. And we want to set a keyframe right away at two seconds. So I'm going to change the intensity to 150 and the ray length to 200. So that's going to take a bit longer to preview, but again, this is a really cool effect. So I'm going to set two keyframes by clicking on those stopwatches and then I'm going to press U to show them right here. Now I'm going to press page up one, two, three, four, five times and I'm going to set both values to zero and then with the playhead right here press shift and page down to move 10 frames forwards and then press the shift and page down shortcut once again and right here at two, two and a half seconds I'm going to set both values to zero again. So this is going to take a bit longer to preview but this is what we've made so far. So as you can see we have a great animation and to make it look even better I'm going to select all these keyframes and I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease them and then I'm going to open them in the graph editor. So I want to adjust these two sets of keyframes. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to drag it like that. So they start off really slow and then increase and then I'm going to select this set right here and I'm going to do this. So if I close the graph editor and then if I preview this you can see that now it looks a bit better. So that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.